A bit of an update on the uh, monster quad attachment. I've put this uh, kink in the rear axle because with the monster on it was just too unbalanced. The uh, weight of the engine was beyond the rear of the axle so it wanted to tip over. So now the rear axle line is about six, seven inches further back than what it was. So there's a strengthening cross member because there's a bit of a torsional effect going on now when you sat on it. And some added strength, I've just put that on. That's on. And then a long one running right down the centre. Just give some extra strength and it feels a lot sturdier now. Um, probably not a sufficient test really but I've dropped it from four feet and it bounced nothing broke so definitely a lot stronger than what it was before anyway just a bit of view of the, the attachment to fit the monster on Lots of bits of rubber, nice neat fit for the bottom cross member of the monster where the fuel tank sits. And then just one welded in bolt. And I'll get a uh, lock nut or something when we're going to put a test in. And there you go. Jobs are good and might um, shorten the front axle and restrict its movement a little bit. Had some uh, good info from uh, Terry Lucky on modifying it, so I'm trying to take that into account as best I could. I was going to actually come from the rear axle up and meet up with the uh, monster frame a good foot or so up, up the main uh, legs for a bit of triangulation, a bit of strength, but that wasn't going to work. So uh, that's what I did instead. Definitely stronger than what it was before, but whether it's strong enough, we shall see. So there we go.